Okay, Peter, here is a quick down and dirty way to maybe row your boat. It needs a lot of work, but uh, maybe this will give you an idea of how you can do it. You need to do a little bit more tweaking, certainly, than I did uh, to get those targets. That's what we did, used uh, reach targets. So uh, let me turn off a few things here and maybe give you an idea. Turn on the dummies and uh, here we are uh, with this. Uh, this particular box right here simply moves the boat along in whatever direction and so the boat's parented to that. Uh, actually this right here is giving the boat a, a rocking movement and the boat is parented to this and then this uh, rocking motion target is parented to the box and it simply pulls the uh, boat along. So that'll give your boat motion uh, maybe something realistic. Now what I did, I just took the an oar object, uh, I then gave it a, a target and so the oar is targeted to this particular yellow cone and that allows me to set up the pivot point and I, I moved my pivot points for the oar right here in the middle and uh, let's see if we can uh, get an oar selected here and uh, see a pivot point. There we are. And uh, that's the pivot point there. That cone is set up and the oar is then targeted to that pivot point, oar pivot, right here, as you can see. And then I've parented to the oar some targets for the hands and so we've got the hands then targeted to that particular uh, cone right there which is of course then parented to the oar. The oars really are doing the movement and the animation and the hands are simply following along and they definitely need to be tweaked a lot more than what I've done here because they're kind of missing uh, the action a little bit there. But I think you can uh, tweak the body, his position, and get his hands better. You might have to animate these targets to get them to grasp a little bit better the ore, but I think that'll get you uh, what you kind of want to do. Not sure, but uh, maybe.